This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Francis Wang. A 15-year-old boy recovering in the hospital after he was shot several times. This was last night at the Lauder Hill Point apartment complex on Northwest 19th Street and 31st Avenue. Police say the teenager was standing in a parking lot when someone opened fire, striking him several times. He's now in Broward Health Medical Center, listed in serious condition. Florida Republican lawmakers say they're working on an abortion bill similar to the one Texas just enacted. State Representative Anthony Sabatin from Lake County west of Orlando confirmed to CBS 4 News he's working on drafting a similar bill in the coming weeks. Governor DeSantis has not said whether he would support it. Meanwhile, the governor appealing a judge's ruling that he exceeded his authority by ordering school boards not to impose mass requirements. The governor wants the first district court of appeals in Tallahassee to reverse last week's decision. It gives Florida school boards the power to impose student mass mandates. The governor has threatened several school districts with financial penalties like Broward County if they don't add a parental opt out provision. F1 Racing making a pit stop at Hard Rock Stadium next year. Organizers reveal the name of the venue. Miami International Autodrome will be the circuit's new name. The 5.41 kilometer track will have 19 turns around Hard Rock. This will be the inaugural race for the Miami Grand Prix. The race's CEO Richard Cregan says they've had more than 150,000 ticket requests since the race was announced. Now, CBS4 Weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. Happy Friday, waking up to some haze and mostly sunny skies as we look for our rusty Pelican camera. Although we are dry for now, later on storms will develop just like the past few days. Highs climb to 90 degrees, feeling like the hundreds. Scattered storms and some downpours will be possible, as you'll notice from our future radar. The storms likely as we get into around lunchtime, 1, 2 p.m., and even through the evening rush, can't roll out the chance for some heavy heavy pockets of rain and the ground saturated from all the recent rain so there could be some more flooding. A mix of sun and afternoon storms in your Saturday scattered storm Sunday spotty storms on Monday for Labor Day in the tropics watching a wave near Central America with a low potential of development. Another wave off the coast of Africa and the eastern Atlantic and Hurricane Larry which is a category one now moving west northwest 20 miles an hour forecast to become a major hurricane later tonight and into the weekend a category four hurricane continuing to head west north West into the open waters of the Atlantic. We'll be watching it. Francis. Let's say thank you. That's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and CBS 4 News at 567 and 11 for all of today's important headlines.